Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of pleural effusion with mild ascites. Now the patient is in the prone position and you can see the scanning of the right lung and it shows a significant amount of fluid in the pleural cavity. This is liver and this one is the diaphragm. This is diaphragm. Now, this is the pleural effusion, the pleural fluid, and this is the collapsed lung tissue. You can see the lung is tissue is collapsed and is floating in the pleural, pleural fluid. This is the collapsed lung tissue. Pleural effusion, sometimes referred to as water on lungs, is the accumulation of excess fluid between the layers of the pleura outside the lungs. The pleura are thin membranes that line the lungs and inside the chest wall and perform lubrication to facilitate breathing. Now you can see a significant amount of fluid is seen and the lung tissue is moving inside this pleural effusion, the collapsed lung tissue and a small area of calcification is also seen in the collapsed lung tissue. In general, pleural effusion can be divided into two types, transudate that is caused by fluid leaking from the blood vessels and exudate where the fluid leaks from the inflammation of the pleura and lungs. The most common causes of pleural effusion are congestive heart failure, pneumonia and malignancies, and pul pulmonary embolism. In underdeveloped countries, TB of the lung is an important cause. Fluid around the lungs or <coughs> malignant pleural effusion is treatable, but it can be serious and potentially life-threatening condition. Now the patient is in the spine position and you can see the fluid in the right pleural cavity. The fluid is turbid having multiple internal echoes, thick and turbid thick fluid. A minor pleural effusion goes away on its own without treatment. In other cases, the patient may need to get the condition treated that is causing the pleural effusion. For example, you may get antibiotics to treat pneumonia. Now you can see a small amount of mild ascetic fluid is also seen in the lower abdominal cavity, in the pelvis. In some cases, the procedure of pleural drainage will help the patient and if it is analyzed, it will help to discover the cause of the pleural effusion. Time taken to drain the fluid from lungs depends on the amount of fluid drained. It also varies depending on the reasons for performing the procedure. It typically takes 10 to 15 minutes but it can take longer if there is excessive amount of fluid in the pleural space. It is widespread dogma that no more than 1500 ml of fluid should be removed during thoracocentesis. Now again you can see the collapsed lung tissue in the pleural region. Normally, 10 to 20 ml of pleural fluid similar in composition to plasma but lower in protein that is more than 1.5 gram per liter is spread thinly over visceral and parietal pleura facilitating movements between the lungs and the chest wall. 
Lulubhiyan volume can be Plural effusion volume, if when the patient is in the spine, transducer, transducer should be placed perpendicular to the dorsolateral chest wall and measurement taken at maximum inspiration. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks for watching.